Shop Local is brought to you by the Eastwood Mall Complex. Get it here, get it now at Eastwood Mall. We were trying to find a name. Had it been almost any other year, Tom Gober likely would have taken the advice of his marketing person. At the time she came up with a splurge. Perhaps fortunately, the year was 2007. It was like right in the middle of the recession. It's like, that's the last thing I want to do is tell somebody to come in and splurge. I had this little puppy and her name was Gracie and uh, we named the store after the dog and she's, she's almost 16 now. Turns out being able to adjust and change plans quickly would serve Gober well over the years. Gober opened Gracie Lane inside the Eastwood Mall after owning a garden center in Vienna. We're more of like a women's gift and women's accessories boutique, so we have some of the, um, the top jewelry, jewelry brands here, um, as well as a bunch of like trending gifts. And being able to land popular brands such as Vera Bradley helped the store early on. I have a great partnership with them. When we were in the recession of like 2008, 2009, just in conversations with them, they were looking for retailers in other areas. And um, I happened to find opportunities, so we just opened additional stores. The other stores are in Boardman, Hudson, and Erie, Pennsylvania. But we put it in all the stores uh, late fall of 2020. And uh, it's been doing well for us. And now Gober is starting to offer his own brands. Gober plans to begin selling his Tommy Sterling Silver Ring Line wholesale to other retailers as early as this July. We have eight specific rings um, that each one of those rings, for every ring that we sell, we give back to a local charity. We give $5 back to a local charity. So there's one for the, uh, for the food bank and there's one um, for an Alzheimer's organization. There's one for uh, children's arts. Gober says being a smaller retailer has helped the business stay nimble and keep up with trends. We can change what we bring in and we can phase out some things. So as trends come and go, we try and follow those trends and stay on top of what's, what's popular and, and what people are looking for. As for current trends, Gober says the pandemic changed many consumer shopping habits. We had a close up for a couple months and then just coming back, it was a slow start back up for us because the things that we offer you know, the jewelry, people come in and they wear that jewelry out and people weren't going out, so they weren't coming in and buying jewelry. Still, he's happy to report sales are nearly back to pre-pandemic levels. And while some challenges remain, he says he's thankful for the support from the community that's helped him stay in business despite facing two major economic downturns. Some days it's very frustrating and it, it kind of gets you, but we try and keep a positive attitude and, and it just we laugh because it's like, you think what else can happen and then the next day like boom it's like okay how are we going to get through this and we do you can read more shop local stories on our shop local page a link is in the description sponsored by the eastwood mall complex locally owned and home to nearly 200 stores restaurants and entertainment venues these are the businesses of your friends and neighbors get it here get it now at eastwood mall One of a kind.